Hi everyone and welcome back to LNA is So Chic, a place where we talk about all things fashion, lifestyle, and DIY. I'm Nishi Richardson and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this beautiful cushion storage bench for a nook in my office. Really simple, really easy, not too expensive, but it's something that everyone can do in their own home. Since we're staying at home, I wanted my office to have a place that was very comfortable to work. I wanted to create a place that was both functional, but also comfortable. Because of the size of this particular piece of furniture, it can also serve as somewhat of a day bed when you have guests over your house when we're back to the place where we can have guests again. Let's go ahead and get started. This is what it looks like before. Just open cubbies with my fabric inside of them. To start off the project, I needed a place to adequately store the fabric and so I got the storage cubes from Amazon. Then I went about Stuffing all of my numerous pieces of fabric into those cubes to get it ready for when the bench was finished. Once I was done packing away all of the fabric, I wanted to get an idea of how big the bench would be in the space, and so I leaned it over into its proper orientation. And just so you guys know, the measurements for this and the piece of plywood I have here were 30 inches in width by 60 inches in length. So I bought some project foam from Joann's two inches of course because that is the most comfortable and most durable for a long standing period of time and then I opened it up and began to cut it out to size for my particular bench. After I finished cutting this out I did realize that one package was not going to be enough so did another quick run to Joann's and then cut out the remaining kneaded foam for the rest of the bench. Also quick tip, Get your foam from Joann's. They generally have coupons that are even 40 to 50% off, so you'll save a lot of money getting it from there. Next, you wanna make sure that according to however big your bench is, you cut out your fabric. I'm going with a beige linen fabric, and so I used probably about three or so yards just to make sure that everything was completely covered appropriately for the size of my bench. Of course, you want to cut that fabric out. Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to make sure, you just need to make sure that you cover your bench. Then I use some Stanley staples because we are going to use a staple gun to put the fabric in place. I laid the fabric out on the floor. then place the foam on top of it and then subsequently place my plywood on top. Then as you'll see here I began folding up and under the fabric all the way around making sure those corners were tight, making sure all of the fabric was tight because you don't want any ripples or loose fabric on the other side. And if you see I specifically very intricately tucked the corners as well as I could to make sure that we did not have any extra fabric hanging over. This was 
was the first time doing this project and so it was not perfect but as much as you can you want to have clean corners it really will probably help your project look very expensive and not as amateur once you fold it very nicely you want to staple all the way around making sure that everything's tight nice and neat we have the top of our bench. Next, I picked up some narrow utility hinges, mine are three inches, and I measured out the length and width of each cube. You can see the middle here is seven and a half inches, and I knew I would line up my narrow hinges with that seven and a half inch mark in mind. So you'll see I made some marks indicating where my hinges were gonna be screwed into the edge here. And then using my impact driver, I drilled some holes just so that it would be a little bit easier when it was time with my husband's help, of course, to screw in the hinges. This probably was the most difficult portion of the project because it requires two people and you have to get it right. I also made the mistake of not thinking through needing to drill through fabric. So the drill did not like that very much. So as you can see here, I cut through the markings I made for the holes with my scissors. Once I did that, I made some pre-drilled holes with my drill bit in order to easily screw in the hinges. Once that was done, I screwed in the middle screw in each hinge first, just because it made it a little bit easier to screw in the outer screws. If you notice, I did not put a bottom to this particular shelf because I wanted it to be mobile. A little less heavy, actually. So once everything was done, put the, the cubes back in the cubby holes and voila. Nice and comfy. To finish it off, I put some of my favorite pillows there, and let's remember what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Very comfy, and it adds so much character to my office. Thank you guys so much for watching. See, it was pretty easy, right? It's definitely something you can do as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below and tell me how you are going to be using this particular piece of furniture in your own home. Thanks for watching. Bye!